Welcome back. Today's video is going to be my first impressions and a review of the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty line. I picked up three things to try today. I picked up the foundation, concealer, and an eyebrow pencil just because that's all my Sephora had that I could see. But I'm going to let you know what I think about it and how it works for darker skin. Keep watching. in this video is the eyebrow pencil it's called the brow harmony pencil in gel i got the color deep brown so we'll just see how this works so when i went in sephora i saw this one and it's the first one i got right away so i think this might be like perfect already i love the color i actually thought this was interesting because it comes with like this spoolie on the end that has like the brow gel in it and usually you have to buy the brow gel separately which is super annoying but to me like the brow gel like seals in everything and completes it so that's one eyebrow i think that looks nice already and i'm using the deep brown i like the formula of this pencil it's actually very very smooth pretty thick it reminds me of the Anastasia brow definer the way it's so thick and this color is like perfect and it has like a triangle end if you could see so that you can do your brow flicks at the front I love that So that's the brow tool and a triangular shaped re retractable brow pencil and tinted brow gel that creates naturally defined brows. It says creamy and buildable. This is ultra precise and the pencil creates any brow look from soft and defined to strong and full. So let's see. Now I'm going to go in the other end with the brow gel. I love this because it just like helps everything blend in. actually keep this and then once I put on my foundation and concealer it will look good. that was the liquid touch weightless foundation and this is the bottle I love that's a matte finish it's actually really cute and it's not too big and the price of this is 38 Canadian I'm in Canada so I'm not sure the price how much it is in the US but I will put all the links down below the color I got is 500N. It's listed as a deep with neutral golden undertones. So for reference, at MAC, I'm like an NW50. And Fenty, I'm 450, if that helps at all. So it says this is a weightless foundation with concentrated pigments that feel barely there while providing buildable medium to full coverage with a natural finish. So I'm going to try this and see how it looks on me and see if it covers any of my darker marks because it is supposed to be a lightweight foundation and usually I go for maximum full coverage just because I have a lot of hyperpigmentation like here and a lot of dark marks. I already primed my face with the Tatcha Slip Primer. Be careful when you open this, it literally just exploded on me. It's very liquidy. It's not like regular foundations where it's like very thick. I don't know how much to use. I'm nervous. Let's just put it everywhere. But one like drop actually does a lot. And it's a doe foot applicator. So we'll see if this works. So I am going to blend this out with my everyday brush I use from NYX. Foundation brush and just see how this goes. I did try this on in the store and it looked like it matched me pretty well. Ooh, I like how this looks. So far, it's blending really nicely. I think it's like a finish. But I can see that it is super lightweight because you can see through it a little bit. I don't know if I put on too much or not enough. But I like how it looks so far. It is very, very lightweight on the skin. I can feel that for sure. It doesn't feel heavy at all.
Hey, shout out to me. Almost perfect color match. Love, love, love this because I feel like it's like a perfect match. It is very lightweight though, but you can kind of see some of my imperfections through it. Like this is a side that had a lot of problems. You can see a little bit, but not a lot. But this foundation is very lightweight. I like how it feels like you don't have anything on and it does look like skin. Like if I just wanted to go outside with just foundation, I could do this. This is like the perfect one. So the next thing I color I got was 450N. And this says, this is a medium deep with neutral golden undertones. This concealer is supposed to be a lightweight hydrating concealer with cake free medium to full coverage that lasts while brightening skin with a radiant finish. So I'm gonna try this and let you know how it goes. This is also the same matching bottle. So cute, it's matte and tiny. I feel like for the price, this concealer's 25. This is amazing for the price. I feel like obviously she's targeting younger girls because that's her fan base. And I think that price is very affordable. We're just gonna do one. blend everything in with my beauty blender just as I normally do and I have to note the concealer isn't as runny as the foundation if that makes any sense when I open this this didn't spill but I do like the consistency of the concealer it's blending out very nicely this is definitely a lightweight concealer like it doesn't feel like I have anything on yeah, see that it's like getting patchy down here I feel like if you're somebody who doesn't like to wear a lot of makeup, period, or heavy makeup or full coverage, this would be perfect for you. Because even like when I'm blending it out, it's like almost disappearing. But it is a nice consistency and it goes really nice with the foundation. Like it doesn't even look like I have on anything separate. It blends in so nicely. So that's everything blended out. I did contour my nose and my cheeks a little bit. I'm gonna go in with a second layer of concealer just to see how that works. It says it is buildable, so I wanna see how that looks. everything blended out so now I'm gonna set how I normally set I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier under my eyes my normal routine let's see how this goes I'm gonna finish my whole face and I'll be right back. So I'm back. This is my full face finish. I use the eyebrow pencil, the concealer, and the foundation. And overall, I wanna say I love the finish. I think it's exactly what they said on the website. It is very lightweight and it's very radiant and it is a very nice finish. 
I would say to use it kind of quickly, I'm not sure if you could see, I have like a patch here under here from the concealer. Maybe I used too much or maybe I didn't set it fast enough, but it is kind of patchy. I did my regular routine. I sat with my Laura Mercier powder. I use my regular highlight and I use the Morphe illuminating spray. That I do love the eyebrow pencil. I think it's such a cute, unique idea that she had to add the gel at the end. I love that because a lot of eyebrow pencils, you have to buy the gel separately. You don't really need a spoolie because so a thousand things we have already have has spoolies. So I didn't need another spoolie on the end of the eyebrow pencil. Yeah, it's cute, makes sense, but I prefer the gel. I think that's such a smart idea, especially if this is for the market she's going for, girls that are younger and on the go. It's perfect because then you, even if you don't want to use the eyebrow pencil, you can just use the gel to make them look cute. So I would definitely recommend the eyebrow pencil. For the foundation, I'm actually very, very pleased and very happy that she did include darker shades. I believe there's 48 shades in total. I love that it is exactly what it says it is. It's lightweight, it's breathable, it feels like I have nothing on right now. As you saw, I didn't use a lot of the foundation, but you can go deeper if you want and use way more than I did, but I love the foundation. I think it's very lightweight. I'd probably recommend this foundation like to my mom or my sister, who my mom doesn't love to wear a lot of foundation or a lot of full coverage. Even my sister who's in college and she's on the go. This is like perfect for people on the go. It's very lightweight. You don't have to, it's not a lot of work. And it looks nice. Like I'm so surprised that I got like my perfect color. I never, ever, ever got my perfect color off the bat. So I have a long going battle with foundation colors. So if you're darker like me, it will work for you. So I do recommend the foundation, that's really nice. For me, I like full coverage. So if you're like me, this might not be the foundation for you because you will have to use a lot of it to cover a lot of hyperpigmentation and acne. You can't see mine, but I know there's a lot of people out there that have darker marks and acne and hyperpigmentation. So the foundation, it's really up to you. I like it, but I probably won't be keeping it just because I love full coverage. But I could also use this, this would probably be perfect for like vacation when you're just waking up, put on a little and go to the beach. This is really nice for that type of event. And the concealer, I really do like the concealer as well. I think I picked the perfect color. Um, I would say if you do want full coverage and you have somebody that has dark circles under your eye, this is not for you. It's not for you. This is very lightweight. I did build it up and as you can see, I think this is because I used too much. It's like getting patchy like right there. So maybe this is just meant to be lightweight and only use a little bit at a time. But for me, I put on two layers of the concealer and this is how it came out. I actually like how my face came out. It came out really cute. This is a very soft, glam, very easy on the go system, the whole thing. The foundation, the concealer, everything is very lightweight and fresh. I do like that if that's something that you need, but for me, I like full coverage. So yeah, I think everything, overall, I would recommend everything, but I think the number one thing I would recommend is the eyebrow pencil because I love, love, love the gel at the end. I can't say it enough. I have a thousand eyebrow pencils and not enough gel ever. So I think that makes the most sense. But everything all together, it works so nice and smoothly as a package. Everything blends in so nicely. She really did a good job. And I'm really happy that it works for darker skin because I know personally they don't always have our color and it's not always our right undertone. So this is perfect. Thank you so much for watching. Do me a favor and just like this video, comment if you wanna see any more, and tell me if you found your shade right off the bat. She does have a lot of shades, so good luck. Thank you for watching.